Good evening, everybody. Um, this is my Joe 2001. We're gonna go and we're gonna actually try to do this a little bit different this time. Um, what I'm basically going to do is I am going to attempt to um, we're, we're gonna do one section of a painting and spend 15 minutes on it. It'll let me focus a little bit more. Kind of explain my process to um, for for everything. So. Um, Gonna go ahead and start with our, our basics that we always do. Um, control A, Control C, select, save selection. Name is gonna be Alpha One. Channels. Go ahead and go down here, hit Control V, and then we're gonna go ahead and select, load selection, invert. There we go. Gonna go ahead and hit here. Gonna go ahead and paint in our lines. And then we're gonna go ahead and save. Let's try to drag and work out. We're gonna call this one B. Can I just call it that simple? And hit save. Okay. And line. Go ahead and hit Control D to deselect. I did that on. Should have done this first. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and just select the D guy. Control C, Control V. Bigger lines. Yay. Uh, control T. And go ahead and hit this. And first things first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create the eye. Um, so this tutorial is just going to be called the dragon eye. Um, so uh, we'll create a group for this actually, eyeball. And um, if you notice, you, um, these lines will show up when you're going and doing things, when you're dragging them. Just make sure that you want it in the right group. So eyeball. Okay, so our light source, I'm going to go ahead and have the light source coming from here. Um, sometimes, if you're first starting out, this might be something helpful for you, but uh, light source. And then what you do is you're just going to go ahead and give yourself a hint that this is where your light source is coming from. So just go ahead and do this. Shrink that down a little bit because that's over the top. And we're going to do filter. Blur. There's our light source, so it'll remind us where everything's coming from. Okay, gonna go ahead and start on the eyeball now. So we're gonna go ahead and just zoom in. And um, so what I'm doing, if ever you go up to these buttons up here and you hold down like this, it'll go and give you your options. So we obviously wanna do the elliptical. And then when we want to go and do a true circle, instead of like, if I do this, if you can see it, it's oblong. We don't want that. If I want it to be a true circle, I just hold down shift and it automatically locks it down. And this is going to be about the size of our circle that we're going to want. Okay, so um, now you're going to go ahead and you're going to put in, this is how I do it at least, uh, put in your darkest shadow and go ahead and just paint that in real quick. Uh, control D, of course. Now we're going to move the eyeball up here. And it doesn't if you notice on some of them, the eyeballs don't necessarily go and follow the actual shape of the eyelid like this. That's okay. This is just our getting our stuff locked in. So um, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to lock this. Whatever your background and light source is, that's usually what you're going to want to go and have um, your actual uh, highlights be. So for this one, my, high, my light source is from here. So this is where we want to put it. Um, 
I really liked the last um, project we did where we had like the uh, the blue light source. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. I'm just going to put it like this. And then for the light, I'm going to put in one more white white. And this is because that's going to be our brightest. Um, and that is not enough. There's not enough yellow in there. So, so if I go and get rid of my lines, this is basically what your circle is going to look like right now. So now all we do is go to blur or a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. That's obviously way too much. Tone it down a little bit. And there's our eyeball. So this is, if you look, this is too dark still. At least that's how I feel. So we're probably going to be lightening this up. But right now, this is where I'm okay with it at. So we built the first section. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to create the second part of the eye. Um, if you've noticed, I usually just go and I hit duplicate layer and then I just shrink it down control T and move it to actually be this eye right here so and then here um, now the thing to remember and I, I touched on this a little bit um, your your eye is actually concave like if we were to actually go and look at it from like a side panel like if you were to look at the light source on it, it actually looks like this. Like it's, if that's what your iris would look like if we were to do a side view. I know this might not be like the perfect anatomical if somebody were to look at it, but I'm just trying to explain. So it when, when we go and we do our painting or whatever, the highlight is actually hitting right here, if that makes sense. Because our light source is here, highlight's going to be there and there this part is not going to be showing up. So, so if we're looking at it this way, the brightest height light is going to be here. Because we're looking at it like it's a bowl, right? Because this section here is this section here. And so, Now that's pretty one dimensional, I don't really like that. So we're gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more darkness to it. So it's like that. Okay, and then all we do is we do filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Cool, so simple as that. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and add in the pupil. So pupil, we'll just go ahead and we'll duplicate the iris a little. I need to find out where the iris is supposed to be at, so I'll just pull this up real quick. Oh, that's pretty close, okay. And then we're going to go ahead and just darken this. So hue saturation, and then just darken it. So, and we actually want it like this, because that's where the light source is at. And then we're going to go and do just this little bit on the eye so that it curves. So um, this is the first time I'm using the smudge brush um, in this painting. If you notice, I just click on this thing. So you can go and do blur, sharpen, I like smudge. It works more like it's an oil painting. So um, I have my strength at 70. I have my hardness at 100. Um, depending on what I want the painting to do, I will go and change the hardness. So that... And that is, I mean, that's as complicated as the eyeball gets. Um, so, 
Ta-da! We've gone through the first section of this painting. I will go ahead and um, this is where I'll stop at. We're going to go ahead and we'll work on the eyelids and face next. But, uh, I mean, good work. Pretty cool. And uh, thank you for watching my Joe 2001.